DIYers and Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're talking toilets and we are going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to install a brand new toilet. And we are also going to include all the important details that you might not see in other videos. Let's get started. All right, YouTubers, upstairs in the bathroom now and there is the base portion of the toilet without the tank. And here is where the old toilet was removed in the previous video. From here, we are going to open the box. Base portion of the toilet is out of the box. And from here, let's go ahead and open up the Johnny Ring Reinforced Wax Ring Kit. New wax ring out of the box comes with a new set of Johnny bolts and nuts and gaskets. And on the back of the box are these step-by-step -step instructions. Five steps. Number one, place bolts in floor flange. Secure with retainer washer, as you can see here. Back down at the flange, I've got one Johnny bolt and the retainer washer. It's plastic. Take a look at the base of the Johnny bolt. And that will come into play as you insert it into the flange. Insert it and then turn it until it catches the bottom of the flange and slide it up. And with one hand pulling up on the Johnny bolt, use your other hand to push that plastic washer down in place to secure this bolt. I'll need both hands. After securing both Johnny bolts, come up above and make sure they are in line. That will help when you are lowering the heavy base portion of the toilet into place on those Johnny bolts. From here, on to step two. Hold wax gasket level in one hand, wax facing up. With other hand, gently loosen plastic tray from wax gasket around the center by pulling down, turn wax gasket upside down and gently squeeze wax out of tray. And in the portion of the plastic tray is a hole where you can insert a finger and pull. One hand holding the back portion and the other hand pulling on the plastic tray. As you can see here. Back to the toilet. Step number three. Press the wax ring over horn outlet of toilet bowl as shown in the pictorial image. Be careful and line it properly and press it into place. As you apply pressure to the wax ring to seat it to the base of the toilet, I recommend an evenly distributed amount of pressure. Now step four, which is set bowl in place and use body weight to compress wax. Twist bowl slightly to spread wax. Before you position that toilet into place, do not forget to remove the rag or towel that you put down in the plumbing. Making progress, toilet base is in place, and the next step, step five, place washer and nut on bolt. Tighten bolts carefully to prevent breaking bolt. And it's important, be sure that wax gasket is at least 70 degrees Fahrenheit to ensure proper flow of wax. So don't let that wax ring sit out in your freezing cold garage overnight. That would not be good. From here, that's what it looks like so far. Next, we are going to open up the tank. Tank is out of the box. Looks pretty nice, brand new. Next, let's add the washers and nut and secure it. This plastic washer, I want to show you, it says this side up and that little beveled indent in the pictorial image, they have it facing out. So go ahead and insert that. And next, the metal washer and the new 716 nut. The old nut to the old toilet was a 916, but this is new, 716. So go ahead and insert it and secure it. After securing the washers and nut, grab your cap. And if it goes on, great. Unfortunately, ours does not. I need to cut the tip of that bolt with the hacksaw. And the cap should snap right on. At this point, the tank is laying on its side. Here's the under portion of the tank. You've got a rubber gasket to create that watertight seal. And then you have three bolts in a triangle pattern. And those go on the back three holes. Next, grab a washer and nut and you will secure the bottom portion of the tank on the toilet from below. As you tighten those three lower nuts on the base of the tank, tighten them in sequence and make sure your tank is level after you secure those nuts. Do not over tighten them. Next, grab your water supply line. We have a 16 inch supply line and verify that your rubber gaskets are properly seated and not crooked and come down below the toilet. Align the thread properly. Do your best not to cross thread this. This is plastic. It should go on very smoothly. Don't over tighten it. However, you want it on there snug to compress that rubber seal to create that watertight seal. After that, come down below. Use your adjustable wrench to secure the lower connection point onto the shutoff valve. Do not over tighten it and do not cross thread it. From here, let's go grab the seat. What I have now is the rubber grommet gasket that goes right in that hole. And this is the T25 bolt that secures the seat to the toilet. So go ahead and remove the bolt from the grommet gasket. After that, come down below, align it into the hole and with a little bit of force, push it up into the hole. 
At this point, I've got the seat lane on the toilet and carefully pop the plastic caps up. It's a plastic hinge. If you are forceful, you will break it. Be careful. Slide the toilet seat in place where you can insert the bolt and secure it to that internal rubber grommet gasket and do your best not to cross thread this. After hand tightening both bolts, come to the front of the toilet and make sure that you have your seat centered. From here, hold it in place and grab your T25 and tighten down the bolt. Be sure not to over tighten it. After securing both bolts, go ahead and close the caps. They snap into place and come down below. We are going to turn our shutoff valve to the left and turn the water back on. From here, your tank should fill up. Make your progress, the tank is filling up and in the event that you have cloudy water, that's okay. This is a brand new tank, so it will have a little bit of residue on the internal portion of the tank. So keep that in mind, that is okay. And this screw right here, that is your adjustment screw for your float. And as you can see, it just popped up and it turns off. And we wanna check the water level and it's right at that point there. And in the event that your water goes above the fill line, you will just turn this screw counterclockwise about five turns and that will lower your water. Go ahead and flush it and test the height after the flush. From here, we are going to flush it. Open up the seat. And what I've done now is I have put paper towels the entire radius of the base portion of the toilet and that is to check for leaks over the next couple days. And I do that because the last thing I wanna do is caulk or silicone around this toilet when there is a possible leak. So again, I'm gonna keep these paper towels here for a few days because the paper towel will definitely soak up water and you will know if you have a leak. Also check your connection points for your water supply line at your shutoff valve as well as the low point of the tank. At this point, I've got the cover on the tank and that is the silicone. When you go purchase silicone, make sure you get bathroom rated or tub and tile silicone as opposed to any cheap portion of caulk. That will go a long way. Hopefully this helps YouTubers do us a favor below the video. You'll see that thumbs up icon, click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us and very awesome. We would really appreciate it. And here in a few days, if I see no leaks, all I'll do is run a silicone bead around the base portion of the toilet.